The issue is grief, mental illness, and creating a community environment where that loss or that suffering is appreciated by others and we all come together to learn, be educated and listen to amazing speakers tell of their own lived experience. The project is in actual fact the winter solstice event um, which is hosted by survivors of suicide and friends. We have a successful formula that has worked uh, for many years. This includes community members and groups who perform welcome, dance, music. We, we say that we shine a light on the darkest night. After losing our daughter to suicide, in 2011, we founded Survivors of Suicide and Friends, and we hosted our first winter solstice in this square on 21st of June, 2013. most important part of the event and what people come to see is our three keynote speakers. And, and I think the key to it is, is trying to have uh, meaningful speakers, often with different topics. We've had Ian Roberts who was the first um, NRL man to come out as gay and he, he came here and spoke beautifully, talked about the issues within his community of suicide and the high prevalence of suicide in that cohort. Da Danielle Laidley uh, last year, um, I've had great feedback. Linda Burney, Federal Minister, but every year there's someone different. On the same night we had Kerry O'Brien, um, esteemed uh, TV personality, yeah, and generally they, they're speakers with a profile. Yeah. That, so there is an interest within the community to hear from those particular people because they know of them or they know a little bit about their story. Mm -hmm. And it really resonates with the community to hear that other people are going through the same thing that they may be. Mm -hmm. uh, the winter solstice has played a huge part in destigmatizing the topic of suicide. The funds, um, if we are, you know, successful, will be used uh, for research and um, securing three keynote speakers. It's not inexpensive to run. It can be 50,000 one year and 100,000 another year to put on. And it's all done free to the general public and, and I think that's part of the beauty of it. Anyone can attend. So it, it just doesn't happen out of goodwill alone. We wish. <laughs> <laughs> we pay to get some speakers, others don't charge because they should be paid and it, without um, getting uh, fee for what they do, we wouldn't have an event and we certainly wouldn't have the calibre of musicians, speakers, poets and the rest of the people that make the winter solstice. It, it's like that every year, people walk away mm -hmm. discussing who did you like. Yeah. So really, our objective with the event is just to provide a seamless community mm. evening and hopefully you've been moved, blown away, learned something.